Yeah, that's right. It's time to finally grind up almost another billion coins for the last item on the dream bucket list. We've gotten the Shadow, we've gotten the Tebow, and most recently we've gotten the Scythe, and now it's time to finally go after my favorite item on the original set, the Elijah Spirit Shield. While this item is nowhere near as useful as the first three on this list, this one holds a very special place in my heart, mainly because when I first joined this game way back in the day, I saw people flexing this beautiful shield and I knew that I had to get one, one day. So the grind for yet another and the final item is finally starting. And with the long break from the last Getting Good at RuneScape video, let's see where we're at. As the last, oh good lord, five episodes released in this series, I haven't exactly gotten a lot of profit. Duke and Vardorvis maybe roughly 3-ish mil, TOB was all entry level stuff so I got nothing there. The solo Deathless COX budget gear video was just a really fun idea that I wanted to do and obviously didn't get any profit from it. So the Inferno achievement just ate all of my remaining GP. So we're gonna have to make some money and make it rather fast. And what better way to do that than to hit up the old reliable COX. Now Chambers and I have a uh, interesting relationship. When I first learned how to do the solo COX grind, I went 50 dry without seeing a purple light in the normal rates. And then the dry streak continued when I finally learned how to do the challenge mode version of this raid, going yet another 26 KC dry there. It wasn't until I started doing scaled solo raids that I finally broke this horrific streak with a dex. Back then it was a cool 24 mil to break the 61 normal and 26 challenge mode dry streak, but that was enough to start the chamber's addiction, and it did not take long to get spooned. 12 raids after the dex, I got rewarded with the big boy. The Tebow was dropped on episode 21 at 213 KC in the normal COX runs, which allowed me to get the scythe, the range, and mage upgrades, and a full-blown addiction to the chambers, I might add, because of course it did. As you may have noticed from the background footage, I've done nothing but raid after raid since I got that Tebow drop. I've been doing raids so much that I'm yet again another 50 normal raids deep in the chambers of Zarek, and I have nothing to show for it. Isn't this raid super rewarding? To give some context when you do solo normal raids and you don't die, you average around 32,000 points, which makes the odds of a purple a 1 in 27, so I'm a bit over rate again. So I started camping out challenge mode raids again, mainly for the better chance of pulling a purple light, making this roughly a 1 in 14 drop rate, assuming I stop dying, while I also hunt for more twisted ancestral kits. I only have one of them right now, and I really want all three of them to make this set look full, so let's see what I can get there. At the same time, I started to try my luck again with streaming here on YouTube. It's a mess of a time to be honest, and I have no idea what I'm doing, so until I figure it out, you're gonna have to enjoy the super scuffed clips that I pull from the stream, so sorry about that in advance. But let's see what I got up to today. Yes! Cool. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. It has finally happened. Dream luck. Oh my god. You were so close. You were so close. So, so close. <laughs> so unbelievably close. Oh, that's a great feeling, boys. It is the chest. All right. What do we get? Okay. Okay. Tormented ornament kid. We like it. Three mil. What a fantastic jump in GP for that LE fun. But this wouldn't be a normal account progress video without me showing you some of the most random grinds possible. So on this week's adventure of learning stuff that I've learned way too late in the account progress series, I learned how to do the Guardians of the Rift. Finally. After the initial shock of understanding what I need to do and how to do it, it's honestly not that bad of a time. Especially when stuff like this happens. Yeah, at the time I had no idea what the drop rate was, I had no idea that this was valuable, I just knew it was a unique, and I had my mic muted for the entire reaction, so professional YouTuber at its finest. However, I didn't expect this to happen just an hour later. No! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> what? 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 There's got to be a mini game. Uh, Guardians of the Rift. 
There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. It's a one in 4K. There's, there's no way. This set me off to maybe one of the luckiest days I've ever had in RuneScape, even though the next glyph is very, very scuffed. Oh, there's no way I missed this. There's no way I missed it. I had to have just broken the recorder. Ah. Well, and a sister kit. <laughs> we got one. Another twisted ancestral color kit, raid number 41. That is the second one in 41 CM completions. I think these are one in 75 too, which is just insane. And it was a one mil chest too. Nice teak planks and mahogany planks to go along with it. Oh, I'm so disappointed I missed the recorder on that. Ugh, I am sorry. What? Number 43, maybe? I oh, don't know, I'm losing track again. Let's see. Money, money exists, yes. GPU on, this is raid number 43. What'd we get, what'd we get, what'd we get? Uh, it's a dex. <laughs> hey, money is money, dang it. It is money. We are moving up in the world. I don't know, right off of the last purple. What do we got? Is it a back-to-back? No way. <laughs> we are done. We are done with the twisted kits. We don't need them anymore. <laughs> There's no way I deserve this. 44. <laughs> this is all the same day. I've gotten the pet, two of these, and a dex. I... <laughs> oh man, the raid's starting to love me again. Oh, that's so good. And there it is. That is a full set. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's so sick. Oh, that's so awesome. Well, time to bank it and ruin all the other slots that I have with this in there. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that's right. I was able to pull the pet, two ancestral kits, and a dex all in the same day. But when it rains, it definitely pours. Oh, it's a good day. Oh, it's a good day. Oh, we start off hot. Yes, sir. Oh, the money, the big money. Ooh, ooh, that is unexpected. I can remember which tab it is. There we go, the Dragon Hunter. Nice, very, very nice. What an incredible start to this grind. With the Ancestral Top selling for 181 mil, the Dex which sold for 15 mil, and the Dragon Hunter Crossbow which was for 64 mil, we made 260 mil out of the 750-ish mil that I need for the Ellie, which is just a little over a third of the way to the final goal. On top of that, we got the Needle and a pet from the Guardians of the Rift while also finishing off all of the Ancestral Kits, which is just unbelievably lucky as I'm pretty sure these guys are a 1 in 75 when doing the challenge mode. Even though I had an incredibly slow start to the raiding adventure, fighting through so many non-lucky raids, we had a fantastic push towards the final goal. Hopefully in just one, maybe two more videos, we will have our entire dream set of items. In the meantime, I think I'm going to camp challenge mode COX a little bit longer and slowly work my way up to the Grandmaster speed time before I go play the RuneScape lottery somewhere else. As of right now, I'm able to complete the chambers in under 45 minutes, which does work for that master task time, but I have quite a few things I need to learn to speed things up to hit that 38-30 time. After I accomplish that, I'm sure I'm going to find something else to camp out and give chambers a much needed break. Until that happens though, that's all that I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe as it really does mean the world to me, and let me know what you think of the video in the comments. I always love hearing from you guys, but until we see each other again, I hope everyone's having a fantastic day, good luck on your grinds and your personal goals, and I hope to see you again very soon. Stay inspired.